What is good, YouTube? You know who it is. Chris Jones, representing Pump Chasers. I come over here, show him a little bit. I'm over here editing videos, you know. I don't know if y'all noticed that. I, I probably already told y'all this before. I stay on the motherfucking grind, you know. I like to just constantly record. That way, I can give y'all uploads weekly. So, this video right here, I got a video right here editing, and I just uploaded a video right here. I probably, you probably won't even see these videos until four days from now. All right. So, long story short, I'm busy. I'm editing, and then I'm probably gonna do some emails. And Denise is about to cook me some dinner, and I was like, "Video, another video I can have." So, while she's cooking dinner, we're gonna go ahead and show you how she makes it. That way, you guys can cook it for yourself. Or if you got a lovely lady at home, maybe she can watch this video and cook it for you. You feel me? Very simple bulking meal. Very macro friendly. Rather you're cutting or rather you're bulking. What I like to do is, if I was cutting on some low carbs, instead of the rice, I would have some broccoli with it. But if you're bulking, eat the whole damn thing. Okay, so I'm about to hold the camera for the niece while this video while this video is rendering. And while this video is already done, but this video, it got at least 30 minutes left for rendering. I'm going to take that time to record for Denise. So, Denise is the star of the show today. <laughs> and let's begin, guys. All right, guys. Here's Denise. Yay, it's Denise. Rocking that ground for life sleeveless shirt. What size is that? Small? All right, size small. Y'all go to pumptasters.com and support your boy. Get your 30 minimum. I like these, too, because it... Doesn't um, show too much. Yeah. Good for working out and stuff. Um, okay, so today we're gonna go ahead and make chicken rice. Okay. And, oh, it sounds the name is. It good. sounds, but it sounds basic and simple. So, yeah, but it's definitely good. So I'm just gonna show you guys what we have so far for this meal. All so, right. We're using chicken thighs. Chicken thighs, guys. If you don't like chicken breasts. Get you some skinless, boneless chicken thighs. I'll turn it to the back so I can show the macros. See, guys, only four grams of fat, and it's 19 grams of protein every four ounces. Now, every four ounces of breast is about 25 grams of protein. So you do get slightly less protein, but let me tell you, the thighs taste much better. Okay, that little four grams of fat makes a big difference. Exactly. So we have, basically, we have our chicken thighs. We have our mushrooms, a little bell pepper, some leftover onion, and some celery. And then these are all our seasoning that's going to go onto the chicken. All right. So we got everything over here. Yep. And right. we've got some chicken broth and some rice. And I'm going to show you guys how to prepare the chicken. And then I'm going to chop up the vegetables. And when we come back, you're going to see the chicken in the bowl all seasoned. And you're going to see the vegetables all chopped up, ready to go into this hot skillet. Sounds good. I'm fucking hungry, man. All right, homies and home man. So Denise got the thighs in the bowl, baby. Show them what seasonings you're using. Okay, so this is um, Old Bay. This is just a um, like a uh, chicken and shrimp uh, seasoning. Just look for a little extra flavor. I don't put much. And then we have some onion powder. You can get any kind of onion powder. Now, it might look like a lot, but I got two packets of chicken thighs that need to be all covered. Uh-huh. A little bit of sea salt. Sea salt, I always put in my hand first before I put on the chicken because you can overdo it. Yeah. And then it'd be nasty as heck because it would be salty. Now, also, measurements. You don't do measurement bullshit, right? You just go from the soul, right? Exactly. I don't do any measurements. Yeah, we don't get no fucking teaspoons and shit. We just nope. from the soul. So then you have garlic salt, garlic powder. All right. Don't do garlic salt. That stuff would be salty. So it's garlic powder. Garlic, There's garlic a difference, powder. people. Garlic powder, not garlic salt. A little All right. parsley. All right, parsley. Like I say, it might seem like a lot, but I got two things of chicken in here, or uh, chicken thighs in here, so I have to cover all of it. Okay. And the last, but not least, pepper. Black pepper. There it is. That. Yeah, don't be scared to get in there, people. This is your food. Mix it good. Don't be scared. Just wash your hands and get up in there. Make sure that seasoning gets nice and moved around. All right, so we chopping the ends off the celery. Mm. 
Mm. And okay. this was a, um, a onion that I had used yesterday. It was a whole onion. This is the half of it. You can either use half an onion or half of a half of onion, just depending on how much you like onion, you don't like onion. But huh. we like onion in this family, and we like flavor. And onion is the number one key for flavor. And if you don't like onion that much, just use onion powder. You can't even taste the onion, but it does give a lot of, a lot of kick and a lot of power. Now it's time for the mushrooms. The mushrooms are pretty big. I just take them and uh, chop them up real small. So that way, it won't be like super big chunks. All right, so we got the chopped mushroom. We got some chopped onion. And we got some chopped celery. Now we're getting that bell pepper nice and chopped up, guys. Now, we could have easily just had the shit already chopped for you. But, you know, we want to kind of show you the process because, believe it or not, some of y'all don't know what the fuck y'all doing. You never cooked before. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we want to kind of give you an idea how to do it. So you gutted it out. You got some stems and you're about to chop them down, huh? Yep. All right. Okay, so now we got our mushrooms, bell peppers, celery, and onions all chopped up. But my Pam spray, get in here, spray. Mm -hmm. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna brown the sides of the of the chicken thighs. You're not gonna cook them. You're just gonna put them on the side just to get them a little brown before you put them um, in the oven. So you just put them on here, get them a little brown. So you're gonna half cook them. Half cook them, exactly. You're now them. tell them why. Um, what makes the cooking process easier? Because, a faster. see a lot of y'all don't know this, but she's going to put the chicken in the oven. Mm -hmm. If she throw the chicken in the oven raw, it'll take a little it'll longer. Take a little longer, exactly. Yeah. So when I brought them, I would leave them on here for about like maybe two minutes, and then we'll flip them. And as we, before we flip them, I have this tan right here. It's, all, it's already sprayed with Pam spray, ready to go. And I'm going to put that in here uh -huh. after I'm done with them. Okay, we're back, homies and homettes. As you see, Denise got the chicken half cooked. Okay. Exactly. All right, Denise. So, what temperature we got it on? We got it on 350. Okay. Yes. So, have your oven at 350. Always preheat your oven. Always preheat your. Yeah, oven. we already had our oven on before we even started this shit, guys. It takes at least 10 minutes, maybe even 15 minutes, depending on what kind of oven you have to fully heat. So before you even start chopping your veggies, have your oven all ready to go, okay? Okay, so next step, we're going to throw those fresh chopped veggies on the skillet. We got some Pam spray on it. Yeah. yeah. They smelling good. Now, how long how long are you doing this for, honey? Um, you just want to do it just to get a little brown. So I'll say about like five, five, six minutes. About five or six minutes to brown them up a little bit. Get those onions nice and caramelized. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you don't like I said, you don't want to overcook them because they're going into the oven. Exactly. So, so you don't want to overcook them. Bruno, I know, man, you hungry too. I'm hungry. We're over here waiting for the niece to speed this shit up. <laughs> All right. So the vegetables. Are done. Okay, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and turn our olive. And we're gonna just pour this all. Oh on man, there. I'm ready to eat that right. That looks already good enough. Shit. Can we just have it like this? It was all, baby. Oh, that's right. That's right. Spread this on here. Get this all up in here. All up. All okay. Save us. Get all that onions. We like onions around here. All right. So this is uh, Rachel Ray low sodium. I love Rachel Ray. By the way, huh? This is, uh, <laughs> low sodium, low sodium chicken stock. This is a must. You, I'll use about a cup of the chicken broth. We're gonna pour half of it. No, actually, we're gonna pour yeah half of it in right now. Put it into the oven, and then the other half we're gonna pour later. Okay, so we're gonna do half a cup of broth. Got so the reason why I want to pour half of the chicken broth is because the chicken thighs are gonna make their own juices as they're cooking, and it's gonna add a little bit more broth. Yeah. So just pour it just a little bit so they won't dry out and they won't stick and stuff to the bottom. So then right. once you pour that in here, you're gonna put your foil on top. Don't forget, guys, half a cup of broth with the veggies and the meat, and we're gonna use this foil 
it's gonna trap that flavor. Mm. You know, so the juices and the steam from the juices won't have nowhere to go. It'll be trapped in here. Trapped. It's gonna make the chicken juicy and tender as fuck. So we're gonna put this in here. All right. All right. Close this bad boy up. Gotcha. You on 350 degrees, you're gonna leave it in for about 40 to 45 minutes. 40 to 45 minutes? I know. What was the point of half cooking this shit? Because it would have been probably took an hour and we're slow cooking it, we, you know, because we want to. Yeah, because we had a. Because 350 is pretty low temperature. Very low. So you want to cap, you want to capture all them juices. Okay, man. I'm hungry, goddammit. No, you want to slow cook it. It's going to get all this juice. And this is what really makes it really flavorful and juicy and tender is the slow cooking. It better be 40 goddamn minutes. I know everybody out there thinking something quick. I want to be quick. People try to eat healthy. We can go to McDonald's and have a whole meal in, in 10 minutes. Yeah, but then you have a whole uh, meal full of fat on your body. Okay, man. All right, 40 to 45 minutes. You're hurting the lady, guys. 40 to 45 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and set our timer. All right, so then at about... Say 10 more minutes till it's done, maybe 15 minutes till it's done. We're gonna start making the rice. The rice is the trickiest part of this dish because you have to put it in with the chicken uh -huh. half cooked because the juices from the chicken is gonna finish cooking the rice. Yeah. And I'm gonna show that to you in a little bit later. And we are back. So explain what's going on right now. So, right now, I got some water boiling, okay. it's about a, a cup and a half of water put it on the stove let it get to a boil when you're making um rice homemade rice you have to let the water boil come to a boil first and then you add the rice and so it's a cup and a half of water and a cup of rice so a cup and a half of water throw in a cup of dry rice mm -hmm. all right that in there mix this all in put this down turn you always want to turn your aisle down to low and put this on here Put it halfway so let a steam little steam out because if you don't it'll bubble all over the place okay usually rice cooks for about 18 to 20 minutes yeah. so we're gonna let it cook for 10 minutes once the 10 minutes is up we're gonna turn the aisle off take the rice off it's gonna have a gummy hard feeling to it that's the perfect amount that you need and you're gonna we're gonna pour it in the rice okay so pretty much guys we're cooking the rice halfway through we're gonna cook the rice halfway that way, the fluid inside the pan is gonna finish, finish off the rice. Exactly. So that way, that rice is gonna have some of that good, tasty flavor. You can eat the rice by itself Indeed. because it's gonna have a nice chicken flavor to it. Mm -hmm. Okay, exactly. can't be giving y'all our secrets. Thank you, baby. Now, what's going on here? So what right now, we're just the, still got some more time left for the chicken. That's okay. not quite done yet, and the rice still got like ten more minutes. Okay, and we'll come back. All right, the timer just went off for the chicken. It's been in here. 45 minutes. Okay, so now we're gonna take it out. Ooh, oh, that damn steam escaping. So, that should look good. It does. Let look me good. let me zoom in real quick. Whoop. Cut one of them breasts and uh, thighs in half. Let them see it ain't no pink in there. Let them let the people know. Let the hippies know. Bro, like shit. Hold up. <laughs> so once the rice is ready to take off the pot, we're going to show you what time it is. Do it the rest of that broth right there. We're going to pour it up in here. As you see, she's pouring the rest of the broth in the pan. Okay. Right. We're going to keep it like that. Give it about eight more minutes so this rice is halfway cooked. And then we're going to show you what to do with the rice. All right, guys. As soon as the rice is halfway cooked, we'll be right back. Y'all stay tuned. And we are back. So the rice is done. I took it off the aisle. Halfway cooked. Halfway cooked. I always want to taste it just a little bit just to see if it's where I want it to be. And it is. It's, it's hard. pretty hard. Okay. Not super hard, but but it's able to chew. Okay. Exactly. You can see that gumminess. See that film? Okay. All that gumminess. So we put the rice in the pan, spread it evenly across, mm -hmm. right? Okay. I'm gonna show you that right now. Get all this rice up in there. All right, so now that it's done, we're gonna put the our foil back on here. Be careful, it's hot. And we're gonna leave it in here for about 10 to 15 minutes, but we're gonna shoot for 15. All right, so put it on 350, leave it in for about 10 to 15 minutes. We leave it in for 15. I make sure everything's done. 
And we will be back in about 15 minutes, guys. Y'all stay tuned. And thank y'all for watching. All right. Ooh. Hold up. Look at that rice. Look how swollen it is. Look at that. Soaking up a lot of them juices. So basically, when it's done, I just take a little bit, check the rice, make sure it's moist, make sure it's um, done. If it's not done, you can always throw it back in the oven. Yeah, if it's not finished, guys, put it back in the oven for about five to ten more minutes. Yeah. Taste the rice. If the rice is nice and soft, you can chew right through it, you're good. If it's a little tight and, and stiff, put it back in the oven for about minutes. five to ten minutes. No big deal. Go ahead and cut right into it. Ooh! Hold up. All right. Delicious, man. Never fails. Tastes just rice, though. Look at the, look at that celery. Oh, oh. See that mushroom? See that, see that mush? Hold up, hold up, mushroom towel. Mmm, guys. Go make this shit stop playing. Yes! Denise? You know what? Fuck this. I'm not, I'm not posting this on the internet. <laughs> You're not giving away these damn secrets now. We be giving away too many damn secrets. Bruno, <laughs> calm down! Oh, fuck down, man! <laughs> hey, it's Bruno approved. It's Beast Mode Jones approved. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. We're about to eat our dinner, watch a little TV, and get ready for bed. And uh, don't forget, like the video, share the video, support it, and I will love to post you more cooking videos, okay? Denise cooks all the time, and she got some easy, simple recipes that you will love, okay? Don't forget to like my shit, comment, subscribe, and holler back at your boy.